What's up guys? Micah Dogs here. Alright, today we're gonna go over how to make these agar jars instead of agar plates. A lot of people find it easier to use jars because it doesn't require pouring in a sterile environment. You can pressure cook the jars afterwards. All right, let's get on. You gotta grab your dabber and smack a little hole in it. You can use a screwdriver or anything else you find around the house. After that, you wanna melt down your agar or prepare a brand new batch. It doesn't really matter. I'm melting down some agar that I already had. You wanna slap some filters on those holes that you poked. I use micro pour tape. You can use whatever you want. Here it's starting to melt down. You want to make sure that it's on something so it doesn't hit the flames directly. And then I use this jar of substrate to hold it down. You can see it's starting to melt. If it starts to bubble at the top and you want to store it, you want to replace that filter. Here you see me pouring in a non-sterile environment, right next to that pizza. You want to make it have a nice little layer on the bottom. You don't want it too thick, because then you're just wasting agar. But you don't want it too thin, because it will dry out. Here I am just going back finishing off this bottle all right next you want to grab your pressure cooker I like putting some grain jars underneath it then I just wrap my agar dishes and slap them on top you can fit like a whole tray of them as long as you leave the valves and everything open after that if you're pressure cooking with grain jars, just do it for however long you do that, 90 minutes. And if you're doing only agar, you can get away with going for like an hour, maybe 45 minutes, because liquids sterilize a lot faster than solids. Alright guys, thanks for watching this Micro Quickie episode. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like. I'm going to be inoculating some jars in the near future.